Hoo-hoo-wee. What a scorcher. This is one hot day. And here I am in my fur coat. Just give me a nice breeze and I'll be off to the country. One little breeze. Ah, ah, this one will do. And away we go. This is the country, all right. Now, what do you suppose they're planning down there? Peanuts. This is a peanut farm, and the farmer's putting in the crop. A hot day like today is a good time for planting. The peanut is a very useful plant. It makes the soil richer by growing in it, not poorer. Peanuts aren't too fussy. They need fairly warm weather and a good even rainfall. Then watch them grow. Now these peanuts are coming up. Yes, it won't be too long before this crop is ready. So where are the peanuts? They're under the ground. I thought nuts came from trees. The peanut isn't a nut. It's a pod or legume and ripens underground. It grows something like a potato. After the flower dies, the stem bends downward and buries itself in the ground. The stem is called a peg, and the peanuts grow at the tip of the peg. Peanuts grow in bunches. There may be 30 of them on one plant. The farmer has to dig them up at just the right time. I hope the farmer's a good guesser. Don't worry. Farmers know when their crops are ready and they get a little help from science. When the color on this chart matches the color of the peanut, it's time to start digging. A digger shaker does most of the work. It lifts up the whole plant, shakes it, and turns it over to dry in the sun. These are my peanut people. Do you like them? Scary, real scary. They're easy to make. I cut the shells in half, so they'll fit over my fingertips. Then, I just painted the faces on them. And I used some material to make their clothes. You can make all sorts of things from peanuts. They're easy to paint on. And a little glue holds them down on a card or piece of paper. Here's a peanut flower. And a horse. Hmm, what do you think this is? Look. Doesn't anyone eat them? Sure we do. The other day at school, we even had a peanut butter party. A peanut butter party? Now you're talking. I don't know. We made up all kinds of neat recipes. And then we ate them. Sounds like my kind of party. It's simple to cut them. I don't know where to put this. Where are we supposed to put this? <laughs> this one's called ants on a log. Looks like celery, peanut butter, and raisins to me. It is. Oh, and this one's my favorite. Bananas and peanut butter. Mmm, -hmm. you know how to have fun. Mmm, apple? Yeah. Mmm, I like peanuts. Oh. We've been eating peanuts for thousands of years, but peanut butter is only a couple of hundred years old. In Haiti and Africa, they pound the butter out of the nuts, then spoon it onto bread and rice. Other people made peanut butter in a cloth bag. Shelled roasted nuts were beaten into a paste in the bag, and salt was sprinkled on. After a while, peanut butter was sold in stores. You could buy as much as you wanted. Ejection button? What's this mean? Press it and find out. I'd never press that, would you? 
Ejection buttons can give you a real tummy ache. Well, here goes. Where am I? What's going on? What day is it? What? What's that smell? Peanuts, I'll bet. Here's what happens to peanuts after the farmer digs them up. The ones that aren't so perfect will be used to make animal feed or soap. Others go into margarine or flour. Peanuts have hundreds of uses. The best ones are shelled. The skins are taken off by a current of air. These peanuts are being blanched or scalded in hot water to make them whiter. Some are roasted. The oven turns so the peanuts are evenly roasted on all sides. This way they don't get scorched or taste smoky. A few are sold with the shells on. Moving screens sort them by size. My favorite is crunchy peanut butter. About half the peanuts grown in North America end up as peanut butter. are shaken up and checked for dust, mold, and red skins. Then they're sent through the grinders. To squeeze the butter out? Right. Sugar is added, some peanut oil, and salt. Out comes the peanut butter. The jars are filled, then sent off to the supermarket. Just before we go, how about a peanut riddle? Okay. Make it quick. After looking at all this food, I'm starving. It's an easy one. A goober is an African word for a ground nut, an earth nut, or a peanut. Yes. You're absolutely right. That's the answer? Yes? If you don't believe me, look it up in the dictionary. See you next time. This scientist found over 300 uses for the peanut plant. His name is Dr. George Washington Carver. How many uses for peanuts can you find?